Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Poshmark video for you guys, and I'm going to break this into two videos hard goods in one video and clothing in another. Uh, the clothing bolo video is going to be over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And this is what that channel looks like. So if you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Uh, I think I have another video over there on clothing only that sold on Poshmark. Now, I focus mainly on my regular Bolo Buddies channel, this channel that I'm going to do right now on hard goods. So I'm going to put the hard goods video on this channel. So I am going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And these items sold faster on Poshmark. They are cross-posted to Mercari and eBay. I do use a cross-posting um, extension. It's called List Perfectly. It helps me get my items to other platforms fast. Um, I, I use the bulk cross-posting feature. So what I will do is I will list during the day, and then I usually cross-post at night. So um, that is just how I choose to do it. There are many ways you can use List Perfectly. There is a link down in the description if you want to check out how it works, that would be awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've been using it, I would say close to two years now. And I love it just as much today as I did when I first signed up. So uh, if you want to check it out and you watch the video and you decide it's something you want to try, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month. Um, now, if you only sell on Poshmark, um, and, and you don't sell on eBay or Macari, let me tell you, I sell way, 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 way. And when I say way, I mean like way, way, way more on eBay. Um, Mercari, Poshmark's kind of beaten Mercari right now, but I love to shop on Mercari. So I highly recommend that you get your items on multiple platforms because different people shop on different platforms. Now, I shop on all three platforms because I sell on all three platforms. But Mercari and Poshmark, so how they do that is they hold your money until you release it and you can use that money to buy things. So I think a lot of people on those platforms will use their credits to buy things. So they're not checking comps on eBay. And I've done a couple um, shorts, hashtag shorts videos where I've showed you guys I had the item like listed for 10 bucks on eBay or 15 and it sold for like way more on Poshmark or Mercari. Um, what usually happens and why that happens is on Poshmark and Mercari, I'm very guilty of not doing price drops and stuff. So my items just kind of sit at that higher price and sometimes they sell. So um, I'm not going to complain about that. It's definitely a good thing. And I do price my items a little bit higher on those platforms to allow for price drops and sending offers to um, buyers. So if you are not on eBay, definitely consider it. If you're not on Mercari, there is a link down below if you decide to sign up. I think you get $10 off your first purchase. And then I think they give you another $20 once you sell $100 or something like that. And then they give me a coupons also. So if you use my link to sign up, that would be great. All right, you guys, let's get started with some hard goods, some bolo items to be on the lookout for. What I love about Poshmark is it's not just clothing. You can sell pretty much anything on Poshmark now, as long as it's like in the weight and dimensions and everything. So uh, let's, let's get started here. I think I already said that. And then I went off on my why you need to use list perfectly because it's awesome. Did I tell you the coupon code? If I didn't, it's a uh, Bolo Buddies, all one word. Um, I think I did, but yeah, definitely use that because 30% off is a great savings. All right, so the first item I sold is this Folkmanis Alligator Puppet. Um, this was listed for quite a little while, um, but it did sell for $23 and the buyer paid the shipping. Uh, I want to say I didn't write down. I should have taken notes on. Uh, I usually like eBay. I'm really good about writing down what everything sold for and stuff or what I paid for it. I think I probably paid like a dollar or two for this and I don't remember where I got it. So sorry about that. 
Um, I'll try to try to remember better. Uh, so $23 on that. The next item I sold, I know that I got this at a thrift store. I want to say that I bought it on, I think I had a coupon for 35% off. Uh, I think it was like seven or $8. Now I got it home and it did have some stains on it. But you guys, the cut work on this is amazing. It is so pretty. And I didn't try to get the stains out. Like, I'm not great at that. So, um, on big items, like I'm pretty good at getting it out of plush and stuff like that. But I just didn't know if this could be laundered. I don't know much about these vintage items. Uh, it did come with the table, uh, not tablecloth, it came with the tablecloths and the napkins. So, are those called napkins? Those are napkins, right? Yeah. So I ended up getting $50 for this and the buyer paid shipping. So I was happy with that. The next item is this 2009 Disney Fairies Style and Share Silver Mist. Uh, it's like a doll head and I think you do her hair. I got this at a garage sale. My cost of goods, I believe it was $3. And I went to this garage sale and I got tons of new old stock items. It was like one of the best garage sales I've ever been to. And I think it ended up being $3 an item, two or three. Maybe it was $2. Either way, I sold her for $61 and the buyer paid shipping. I will tell you, anytime you can get toys that are new in the box, if they're retired, that's even better. But they're going to sell. They're going to sell. They may be bread and butter, but there's usually someone looking for toys. This came from a thrift store. My cost of goods was probably either a dollar or two dollars. I'm not sure if they sold this to me as a set or I paid for each one individually. Typically what I do is I give them all the jewelry and they put it in a bag and give me a price. So um, I did test these with the gemstone tester and they showed up as glass, but it is still the brand. I think it's Weiss, W-E-I-S-S. And these sold for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these little pet shop, also known as LPS. These range from vintage to now. You can see this one right here is an older one. I think there was another older one. Maybe not. Maybe it was just that one. Uh, let's see. One Kenner. So just one. Uh, these sold for $42 and the buyer paid shipping. I usually get these at garage sales. Sometimes they come in mystery boxes, but, um, little pet shop can definitely do pretty well. There are certain ones that are bolos just by themselves, but you'll have to really research that and figure it out. I didn't look all these up. It wasn't a super fast sale. So I'm assuming that there was nothing super valuable in this lot. The next item I sold is this Monster High doll. Um, she is for parts. If you see here, she has a mark on her face, a stain. Uh, and she sold for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. So maybe somebody needed the feet or the arms or the legs. I don't know, but I was happy with that. I bought her in a lot of Monster High. I believe they came from a garage sale. Um, I sold the other ones. So I just went ahead and tried it and she actually sold even with the ink on her face or the dyed mark. I don't know what it is. This came out of a mystery box. These are Christmas condiment salt and pepper shakers and they sold for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I just disclosed that they have salt and pepper in them and will need emptied and cleaned. I did end up dumping the pepper all over my carpet. I actually have a video of that on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. If you want to see that, oh my goodness, it was a mess. But anyhow, um, yeah, it, it was that video. I just, I struggled in that video, <laughs> but anyway, you can check that out. So I did end up dumping them out. So, uh, $13 plus shipping. Uh, the next are these Tony Llama black leather boots. I picked these up at a garage sale. I believe I paid 10 or 15 for these. Um, I did pay up a little bit because I knew that they were going to go for a little more. Uh, I sold these for $100 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage clip-on earrings. I believe these came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was a huge lot, 344 pounds of jewelry that I sourced on eBay. And I tell you all about that in 
my video series if you want to check that out. Um, I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Bratz Dolls replacement shoes. Um, I don't recall where these actually came from. It could have been a garage sale or a mystery box, or it could have been multiple places. A lot of times I'll just throw them in a bag. Now, there are two pair and then these little uh, replacement soccer, I think they're like soccer socks. The person that bought this, I do believe they were buying it just for these. Um, I, I think I got a question on it about that. So if I'd sell them individually or something like that. So I ended up selling this lot for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage camo Halloween monster mask. This may have come out of my box from auctions for you. I bought a Halloween box off of her. Not 100% on that. But I sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's just a simple little mask. It is vintage though. So pretty cool. The next item that sold is this. Uh, did I say that was from auctions for you? If it was the um, Halloween box. And I've also bought toy boxes from her YouTube channel. So definitely check out auctions for you. This one came from Donatella Bottolino who also does YouTube auctions and her and auctions for you actually go back and forth on each other's channels. So check them both out. I do have them linked down below in the description. I buy, I source from them. So when I'm in the mood to source online, I go to YouTube and source from them. And I typically buy boxes, either a mystery box or a dibble box or something like that. This came out of a dibble box and it's not something that I would have ever picked up anywhere. I wouldn't have bought it, you know? And that's what I really like about the dibble boxes is I get things all the time that I'm like, I wouldn't have bought this. And then they sell pretty quickly. Um, I ended up selling this for $14 plus shipping. And again, I'm not really sourcing clothing items, but this is kind of a hard good. So um, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a nice surprise. The next item I sold are these Fisher Price Little People Kangaroos. I decided to sell them separate because the kangaroos are a little bit harder to find. Um, these are a part of the Noah's Ark. Um, so people will buy these as replacements. I sold these for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this bundle. Uh, these are character education children's books. Ooh, cha-ching. I sold something on Mercari. Uh, what did I sell? Oh, okay. I sold a little uh, vintage suitcase. It's like a Barbie suitcase. It's like this big. And I sold it for $20 with free shipping. And if I remember correctly, that came out of my Thrift 15 battle. My Thrift 5 and 15. I bought a, a bundle of stuff. And I think that little suitcase was a part of that. One of the things that I bought for that. Okay, so $20 free shipping. That's awesome. So you guys will see that in an upcoming Mercari Bolo video. Um, you guys, it's literally a little pink suitcase. Unbelievable. 1977, it is vintage. Okay, so back to this. Um, and then this Hot Dots second grade reading. So the Hot Dots came from Gabriel Brothers, um, if I remember correctly. It was either that or a garage sale. I know I've picked those up at Gabriel Brothers to flip. Um, not sure if it was a garage sale or there. So sorry about that. Um, these books, I believe those came from a thrift store. I think these were a quarter each and I probably paid a dollar or two for this. The person that made the offer offered me $24 for both. I went ahead and took that. Poshmark took $480 and my earnings was $19.20. So um, on Poshmark, they call this a bundle. So they add it to their bundle or their, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, so nice little profit there. The next item I sold, Cat's Meow. You guys know all about my Cat's Meow. I was fortunate enough to get like three huge boxes of these. I will tell you, I got totally burnt out of listing these things and I just forced myself to do it. Um, it I didn't enjoy it. I will say that. And I recently bought another box and it's there's a bag just sitting somewhere that I'll get to someday. I got it for a good deal. 
but these are the Lionel train cars and the crossing things and the light posts, but they're all Lionel train. So if you can find the cat's meow that have, um, that are specialized like this is Lionel train, definitely pick those up. Don't overpay you guys, please don't overpay. I usually get these for like a quarter or 50 cents each. I mean, I don't pay much for them. And I sold these for $29 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People Play and Go Castle with the princesses. This came from a garage sale. I think my cost of goods was $5 and I sold this for $40 plus shipping. The next item is another cat's meow item. This is the Hay House. And in that three boxes, I think I had like 50 of these. It was like unbelievable. They're new old stock. So I've just got them listed on all the platforms. And I think I've sold one on Etsy. I think I've sold, I don't know if I've sold one on Mercari yet. I know I've sold some on eBay, but I sold it for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this little vintage Holly Hobbit ornament. And I just read the feedback the other day for this and the lady was buying it. Whoever bought it was for her grandmother. So as a gift, and she said she was in perfect condition and she was very happy with her purchase. I sold this for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, that I believe came out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this vintage monogrammed initials. I have no idea what those initials are. If somebody can tell me, please enlighten me. I mean, that might be an E. I really want to know, like, what, what initials are those? Uh, I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe that came out of my bulk buy jewelry buy, the 344 pounds. The next item came from a garage sale. So I bought a bunch of Legos and they kind of just threw this in to the deal. You guys, this bag is huge. Um, I thought I had a picture of it on my back. Yeah. Okay. So here I am. It's on my back. It's extra large. It's massive. Um, I ended up selling this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage golf clip on earrings. I believe these came out of my bulk buy also sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, this came from a garage sale. I just thought it was kind of cute. I ended up doing some price drops. So it sold for $5. It's an hourglass shaped pendant. So you flip it and the sand or salt or whatever's in it moves. I did not make much on this. So I, I don't know. I'm just showing you because it sold. Uh, I don't know that I'd recommend you buy it. Uh, okay. This Monsters Inc. 13 inch figure. It is Disney store. You're looking for this little patch somewhere on the plush and that will bring up the value that means it is a disney store item this sold for 15 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping and i honestly don't remember where i got this i typically pay 50 cents a dollar for my plush i will play up a little bit more um and the reason that is is i have tons of plush to list so i don't need any more so unless i'm getting like a steal of a deal, I will leave it behind. Unless I know it's a big money bolo, then I'll pay up some. The next item I sold came out, these came out of a mystery box. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to try and list some baby items. Um, I only put these on Poshmark and I'm going to tell you why. This is another reason why Poshmark is a great platform. If it is five pounds or less, it ships for that $7.45. So, um, I didn't put this on Mercari because I do free shipping on Mercari and I would have had to price it kind of high. I didn't put it on eBay because again, the shipping cost would have been probably 10, 15 bucks. And you guys, they're just baby toys. So I felt like Poshmark was the place to sell this. And I was pleasantly surprised. They sold pretty quickly for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So, um, you guys know, if you watch my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, I buy a lot of mystery toy boxes. And a lot of times I get these baby items and they don't have a lot of individual value, but lotting them up like this, somebody's getting those for five bucks each. That's a pretty good deal. Um, and you guys, if you're not selling on Poshmark, I also have a referral link down in the description. I think you get like a coupon and then I get a coupon or something like that. 
The next item is this Boyd's Bear and Friends. I do not recommend picking these up. Maybe comp them out, but this item was so long tail, it took forever to sell. I ended up selling it for $12 um, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Speary Top Cider. I believe I picked these up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Sold these for $25 plus shipping. I'll usually pick up Speary. They, they do okay. Um, nice bread and butter. The next item I sold is this Express Choker. I picked this up at a discount store. I bought a whole bunch. Um, I don't know how much I had in it. Not much. Um, I sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these stickers. They are scrapbooking stickers. And I sold these for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I did realize after I sold it that these were house mouse. And I may have been able to get more for these sticker sheets individually. Um, putting house mouse in the description um, probably would have got more views. And the reason I'm telling you this is the rubber wood mount, the wood mount, uh, rubber stamps that are wood mounted. That's what I wanted to say. Some of them can be a bolo. And I recently did a video on big money bolo stamps. Um, if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But one of them is house mouse. Uh, so it's very collectible. I did not know that when I listed this item. Therefore, I missed that those stickers were house mouse. So maybe I could have got 10 bucks a sheet. I'm not sure. But I would say that the person that bought this did very well. The next item is this Disney Pixar Toy Story Rex action figure. Sold it for $15. I believe this came out of a mystery box. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is a nice little bundle that I sold. I have these two tablecloths. I believe I got those at a garage sale for like a buck each. And then this Star Wars hat, I believe actually both of these came from a garage sale. I usually pay 50 cents to a dollar for hats. So my cost of goods for all of this was under $5. They offered me 40, which I did, you know, I had what, 40, I had $66 for the bundle. They offered me 40. I went ahead and took it because my cost of goods was under $5. Poshmark took eight, so I got $32 for this bundle. The next item is another set of Cat's Meow. Um, I had $35 on this. Somebody offered me $28, so I went ahead and took that. Poshmark took $5.60, and my earnings was $22.40. So again, with the cat's meow, a lot of times if they are special, they will have writing on the back or they will be a part of a series. So you can get a little more for those. The next item is this John Deere hat. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was probably a buck or less. And I sold this for $16 plus shipping. The next item came out of my bulk buy jewelry buy. It's a vintage brooch. I decided to list this one separately because it was marked 120th 12 karat gold filled. Um, it sold for $15 plus shipping. So I was really happy with that. The next item I sold, oh my goodness, this item was so long tail. I've had this, I think from before I married my husband, like so long. I got it at an estate sale. I don't even remember what I paid for it. It took forever to sell. And it's really cool. It's an Ohio State Buckeyes boosters bag. Like, I don't know why it didn't sell sooner, but I ended up selling it for $23 plus shipping. I made quite a bit of money on it. I just had to sit on it for a long time. The next, not like sit on it, literally. I didn't sit on Okay. I, it's getting late. It's what? It's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this town and country Santa came out of a mystery box, and I ended up selling this for $26 and the buyer paid shipping. So again, this item probably makes the most sense to sell on Poshmark because of the cheap shipping. So that concludes this video, which will be on my Bolo Buddies main channel. Um, you guys over here, I've got Bolo category videos. I've got collab videos that I do with other YouTubers and resellers. Um, tons of videos, bread and butter, big money. Uh, but everything is based on educating on items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell high. So my most recent video is this members share their bolos. 
And those are members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So I post a screenshot saying, share your best August Bolo or your most unexpected August Bolo. And then everybody in my Facebook group that wants to be a part of it will comment in the comment section with a screenshot of their best Bolo or most unexpected Bolo. And then I create a video. So really you're getting to learn so much from one video. There were over 50 Bolo items in that one video. So pop that on while you're listing and just listen. You will be surprised how much you actually retain and learn. Um, I'm more of a visual person. Like I want to see it with my eyeballs. So it helps me to actually watch the video, but you can most definitely listen. I will read off the title and um, give you like a little bit of a description sometimes, but definitely the title and what it sold for. So check that out, throw it on while you work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Check out the description for links and other information and leave me a comment. If you made it to the end of the video, comment with an emoji, any emoji, a weird emoji, not like a smiley face, because then I won't know, like um, something different. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.